In this video we're going to examine the origin of membrane potentials. We're going to do this by considering a sodium selective membrane and this membrane has a number of fixed anion sites which are designed to interact selectively and reversibly with sodium ions. We're also going to consider two solutions of sodium ions that are separated by the membrane. So we've got solution S1, solution S2. So to start with, we're just going to consider half of this setup. So we've just got one side of the membrane and one solution. And now initially, this side of the membrane is electroneutral because there are sufficient sodium ions to balance out the charges of the fixed anion positions. The solution is also initially ele electroneutral because there are sufficient anions to balance out the charges of the sodium ions. Now there's a reversible electrochemical reaction here whereby sodium ions from the membrane can diffuse into the solution and sodium ions in the solution can diffuse into the membrane. When this comes to equilibrium we can end up with a separation of charge between the membrane and the solution. So if the effective concentration of sodium ions in the membrane is higher than the, the effective concentration of sodium ions in the solution then at equilibrium we might end up with this would we'll end up with a situation where overall the concentration in the membrane has gone down a bit and the concentration of sodium ions has come up a bit in the solution and so what you can see now is that the membrane has become slightly negative and that the solution has become slightly positive so we've got a separation of charge between the solid membrane and the liquid uh, solution of ions that results in a potential difference. Now let's consider the situation where the effective concentration of sodium ions in the solution is higher than that in the membrane and at equilibrium we've got the situation where overall there's a slight positive charge now in the membrane and a slightly negative charge in the solution but again what we see is that this separation of charge between the solution and the membrane uh, will, would result in a potential difference between the two phases. Okay so now let's look at the full picture and let's consider what happens when this comes to equilibrium on both sides. So now we've got the situation where the membrane on both sides has become slightly negative and the solutions on either side have become slightly positive but the separation of charge is the same the concentration of sodium ions in each solution is the same and the separation of charge between the membrane and the solution is the same and overall we get no potential difference across the membrane now let's look at the situation where the concentration is different in both solutions so in solution S2 the concentration is higher. Solution S1, the concentration is lower. So let's consider what might happen at equilibrium here. So now we've got a slightly more positive solution here than we have for solution S2. So in solution S1, we've got a slightly more positive solution. And overall, the separation of charge is different. And so we will get a potential difference across the membrane. Now the potential difference, the magnitude of that potential difference across the membrane is given to us by the Nernst equation and the particular form of the Nernst equation that we need for this is shown here. So we've got the electrical potential of solution S1 minus the electrical potential of solution S2 equals minus RT over F and then it's the natural log of the ratio of those concentrations. So sodium concentration in solution S1 divided by sodium concentration in solution S2. Now if we consider the situation where the concentrations are equal then we'll have uh, the ratio of sodium ion concentration S1 divided by sodium ion concentration S2 will equal 1. 
the log of 1 is 0, so therefore the overall potential difference will be 0 as well. Now that sort of mirrors what we talked about earlier on in terms of the charge separation being equal on both sides if the concentrations are the same. So we can see that the maths stacks up with the mechanism. So I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and also check the bell icon if you want notifications of future videos. Thanks very much for watching.